Uh, hi, my name is Dave Blinsky, just for the side four. I think everyone would acknowledge that China has the most influence by far of any country in North Korea. And yet we've also seen over the years that China has also been condemning North Korea for its nuclear program. So given that, and given that the Chinese themselves have not been able to denuclearize North Korea, how can we then come up to the same table? You know, China's primary goal with North Korea has not been denuclearization, it's been regional stability. Keep that in mind. That's what they're motivated by. They don't want a collapse of North Korea. They don't want refugees flooding their uh, borders, and they certainly don't want U.S. troops on their border, which would happen is if North Korea collapsed. But the point about China is let's keep, let's keep things in mind. They have done a much better job uh, bringing tougher sanctions against North Korea and enforcing those sanctions. Not perfect. That's one of the reasons why we're at this point, because the sanctions are biting. And secondly, in the resolution of this issue, China is going to play one of the key roles, because in terms of security guarantees, who do you think is going to be the guarantor? for North Korean security. It's going to be Beijing. Do you think China's role strengthens your argument in this debate? Absolutely. I think at the end of the day, the Chinese would like to see the, this problem go away. Uh, they don't want to see North Korea go away. They don't necessarily want to see Kim Jong-un go away, because that is the buffer between us and them. So they would like to see that uh, Kim Jong-un stay, but tensions reduced. And certainly, if Kim Jong-un gets rid of their nuclear program, I think China would step up to the plate and be a guarantor for their security. Would the opposite side, like the opposing side, like to respond? Sure. I, I think you could also make uh, a, a very clear opposing argument, which is that exactly as Suzanne said, the Chinese have always been more interested in stability on the Korean Peninsula than in denuclearization. And under severe stress from the Trump administration, they have put more pressure on North Korea this year. They have put more sanctions in place, and those have started to bite somewhat. But that what they're looking for next is to be in a position where they can start to take some of that pressure off. And they've actually started to do that already. But they, they won't do that because they, they will then fear we'll move back to the threat of military, U.S. military strikes preemptive strikes on North Korea, and that is the last thing the Chinese want. They've literally That's started to do it That's one of the reasons they've stepped up to the plate with yeah, the sanctions. And I'm, um, I'm also not sure how far China wants to get ahead of the process. I mean, I think, I mean, it, I mean they had the meeting and that was good, but I don't know how far ahead they want to get uh, in the negotiations of what's going to happen with the U.S. and North Korea. I, don't, I mean, you're, you're kind of making the case that they're already giving things and North Korea hasn't done anything yet. But, you know, I'm not sure how far they want to get ahead of the process.